What's up guys, welcome to your 20 second Android tutorial for the new Boston and like I said, we're going to get into some pretty simple stuff um, now now that you've guys seen kind of the framework of how Android works with manifest, the intense opening up activities, what an activity is, what the life cycle is so now we're going to kind of break it down into simple applications we're going to build a ton of those simple applications that you guys can uh, kind of familiarize yourself with the Android and what it can do so the first little application we're going to build is just messing with some text within a Java class. So what we want to do is we want to set up a new layout and that's all we're going to do in this tutorial is just define a new layout. So again you right click on your layout and go to other and then under the Android folder click Android XML file. And we're going to call this one text. Again every time you label a layout it has to be lowercase dot XML make sure it's a layout hit finish. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up an edit text. This is how we're going to get some user input. And so I'm just kind of introducing you to some new stuff within the XML. So what we're going to do is say edit text. And then we define it as always. So we're going to give us some room here to work with. And we're going to say the Android layout uh, width is equal to your mom, which will be fill parent. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, fill parent for the width and Android layout height but you know that's a good that's a good uh, your mom joke if you guys ever get schooled in that game just say your mom is so big she fills the parent and everyone's gonna be like oh man that was a sick burn but there we go we kinda have the setup for our text view or I'm sorry edit text and that's kinda what edit text looks like you can put some input in there some text or whatever and we're also gonna give it an ID because we want to reference it in Java so Android ID equals again um, within quotations at plus ID forward slash and then ET for edit text so we got we can kinda remember it and we're gonna say commands yeah that's fine commands and we're also gonna just to show you guys some other stuff that you can do we're gonna say Android there's a function called uh, hint and then you just hit equals and we're gonna say like type a command and then end quotations and as we look at it it kinda has this type of command thing within there and then when you click or when you run the application and click on it that hint is gonna go away and you can type so that's pretty cool. Um, you can also add text, but if you, like if we said text here, just like when we used with our button, um, there will be text in there called type of command, but when they click on it, they're going to have to delete that text that's in there. So a hint just kind of gives them a hint, and then when they start typing, it's going to go away. So there we go. That's what a hint is. And then what we can also do is something kind of cool, Android password. And what this is going to do is uh, there's two commands, true and false, or uh, invisible, or what is it, true and false. So uh, if we say true, that's going to basically star out their uh, input. So we're just going to go with that. Um, and there we go. We have our edit text for the most part set up. What we also want to do is set up a button, and we're going to say uh, button, and then Android. Actually, we're just going to drag and drop a button in there. And then edit it. Then we're also going to drag and drop a text. Or text view. There we go. Command shift format or control shift format if you guys are on Windows. And let's just check this out. We might want to change the label to button uh, results. And we're going to change the text for a text view to uh, invalid to start with. And we're going to say T for text, TV uh, results. That looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe we should do uh, for the width for the text view, we're going to say fill parent as well. And Android gravity to be centered. Nothing too new. Basically, uh, we got introduced to the text or the edit text for the most part. That's all this tutorial is so far. I'm also going to teach you guys about weight here in a second. So, um, 
just want to make sure it kind of looks the way I want. Maybe we'll fill the parent for the button as well. There you go, that looks pretty good for the most part. Actually, we're going to finish up this in the next tutorial just because uh, the time for the most part. But again, just a simple XML layout. Introduce this edit text, nothing too special yet. But uh, again, this is kind of kind of going back and doing the easy stuff. So uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.